Well, aloha. Today I've got a little word of encouragement for you. It's found in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and it reads like this. There is appointed a time for everything. There's a time for every event under heaven. A time for birth, a time for, for, to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. And today I'm reading from this passage because we just got some news through Facebook last night that uh, a young man, 28 years old, was killed on the highway over there in California. And um, there was prayer requests written in online just asking for prayer, for comfort for, them, for the parents. And someone wrote, oh, it'll be okay, just cheer up. And like, no, no problem. But I just wanna encourage you with some words from the scripture you know there's a time for everything there's even a time to mourn and when someone loses someone you know sometimes we are not very good at mourning with them in our in our society so I want to encourage you with some words from the book of Romans chapter 12 in verse 15 it reads rejoice with those that rejoice and weep with those that weep or mourn with those that mourn sometimes we don't realize when someone's hurting the worst thing you can do is walk up to them and slap them on the back and say oh cheer up it's gonna be okay when they're weeping or they've suffered great loss in their mourning the better thing to do is to go up and mourn with them and just you know be a shoulder for them to cry on say look I'm here for you and I'd like to share something with you if, if you don't know what to say just say I mourn with you okay maybe you don't exactly know what that's like but if you can remember a time that you've lost something that meant a lot to you or a person that meant a lot to you Maybe you were close to your grandparents or your grandma and she passed and, and that feeling of loss, that's mourning. And when, when you have someone that's going through that, the best thing you can do is, is not come and say, oh, just cheer up, it'll be okay. But if you really wanna be a real friend to them, just say, I'm here for you and, and I, I feel the loss with you. And I'm just here to mourn with you. And they will feel like you are one of the best. You know, there's, there's not too many times in life I can think of people who lots will rejoice with you when you're having a party. And rejoicing with them that rejoice is easy. But how many friends do you have that will actually weep with you when you're weeping? Or mourn with you when you're mourning? You know, I want to end today with words from our Lord Jesus that he gave in Matthew chapter 5 in the, the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes. It says, Blessed are those that mourn for they shall be comforted. You know, Jesus will comfort someone in their mourning. So turn to him, receive comfort, and if you're one of the, his followers and you're around someone that's mourning, just make sure that you go to them and you, and you say, look, I'm here to mourn with you. I mourn your loss. That's all you have to say. And just let them put their head on your shoulders if you can and, and, and weep with them. And it, you will prove to be a great friend to them. So that's what we have for you today. May you be blessed in the Lord. Encourage, keep encouraging one another day after day, it says, lest our hearts be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. As long as it's still called today, we got to keep doing this. So keep it up. Be blessed. From the Caymans out to Honolulu.